It was a double header in the country's economic capital, Lagos State, as the Nigerian Professional Football League entered March Day 14. The Agege Stadium was venue as Ikorudu United made the short journey across town from their regular Onikon Stadium base to take on visitors' heartland. The Yoga Boys had not won in 11 straight matches going into the game and were already written off as sure relegation candidates. Let's see highlights from the first of two games in one venue. Kick off right here. The match is on here at the Agege Stadium in Lagos. Beautiful afternoon in the city. Oh, the United made him business very early here. And it crunchy time and for a great save there from goalkeeper Philip Acho. That is a top draw save. A BA hit that one uh, with Venom. But he must give credit to goalkeeper Acho. Into the box is the first goal of the afternoon. Oh, what a goal there! And the celebration goes with it. Anthony Usu is it at the Benenu again. Very consistent in scoring. That was a great header, a top draw, and of course, a beautiful cross, too. And what a goal! Hatland opening the scores very early in this game. What a find Anthony Usu is turning out to be. Whenever I see him play, he seems to score. He scored against Rivers United. He scored against 3SC. Yet again, wonderful pull out that was by Nelson Obonayam. He chips it out and it was sailed out by Zumana Dombia. Powerfully headed, poor defending on the part of the Kurodu United. Good one from Ipe Gojuku. Ipe Going forward, opportunity by Kurodu United. Equalizer! That is it. Well worked goal. Out of the training ground. Beautiful equalizer for Ikorodi United. It is here. The battle is on. And of course, it is Meranini Jr. Equalizing for Ikorodi United. That was how to equalize. Well worked. Hapland's defense torn apart. And they are shell shocked. They can't understand. They were simply taken apart. And of course, a beautiful equalizer from this man, Meranini Jr. Monsuru Rafiu, the player they got from COD. And chance for Kordi United for number two. Oh, it is there finally. It's goal number two by Kordi United. The Hatland defense once again a torn apart, and it is a BM Moses. What a way to defend! Disastrous defending from Hatland. And that player that is the shining light for Kordi United have put them ahead here. A BM Moses. Yes, it's him. Moses is the name that will be on the lips of every Korodu United fan. It's a 2 1 to Korodu. The kid that first made his name during a beverage competition has matured into a lad that has become a poacher. You saw him on the occasion, but that was abysmal defending on the part of Hartland. They allowed Ojuku to cause one or two moments of distress, and an incoming ABA tapped the ball. That's the despairing dive of Philip Acho for the second goal of this game. But that shows how hungry Moses Ebiye has been for goals here today. This one meant for Ebiye. Ebiye, opportunity for number three. Willinko is not going in. Hatland survive. Penalty. That's a penalty that comes out of nothing. Very, very poor defending. He wasn't even under pressure at all, but he pulled down a BA in the box, and the referee wasted no time in pointing to the box. And a red card, a straight red card. Who confirm who for? Looking like uh, it is a 
Zumana Dumbia. That lands a third or fourth red card, third red card of the season. Well, that was a beauty, clever move. He succeeded in chipping Acho. And Zumana Dumbia had really no reason to have wrestled on that occasion. Yes, there was her hand, and that little push, you might call it slight, but then the referee felt the player was in a goal scoring position. Hence, the red card he interpreted as Bozomana Dombia entering yet again alongside players like Fortune or Moniwari. They therefore become the dirtiest side in the Premiership alongside Abia Warriors with three red cards. And uh, the penalty call comes and it's goal number three for Bikordi United. And what a day they are having here in the city of Agege in Lagos. And so, go number three, the celebration that goes with it. And for the first time in a long while, I see a smile on the face of Sam Okodu. The dark glasses have betrayed it anyway. But um, it is celebration time for Ikorodu United. Well, perhaps Ikorodu will change venues and start playing at the stadium in Agege because a clinical finish here by their new highest scorer, Ojuku Ipegu. Well taken. He chose his spot. There was power, there was precision, and there was direction. It sent Philip Acho the wrong way. Ikorodu United finally won the game on the 12th time of asking. It was the first time they had scored more than two goals in a match all season. Could this be the bounce? They had lacked all along. Time will tell. <laughs> 